Hello friends, welcome to Pravega Education, myself Kunal Jaswal and here I am with one more question from the net June 2024 examination. This is a question of ID 705067 and uh, this question is from solid state physics. We go to precise that's a condensed matter physics with a subtopic of the dy model. Okay, so this is a question from the dy model. Okay, dy theory. And this question, the divide temperature of a two-dimensional insulator is 150 Kelvin, okay. The ratio of the heat required to raise its temperature from 1 Kelvin to 2 Kelvin and from 2 Kelvin to 3 Kelvin, right. See, question kya hai? that there is a two-dimensional insulator is there, the divide temperature is 150 Kelvin. So, let's suppose that theta d we have 150 K. We have to find the ratio of the heat required to raise the temperature from 1 Kelvin to Kel 2 Kelvin and then from 2 Kelvin to 3 Kelvin. See, if you will go for the derivation, then it's a quite lengthy process. But in the class, we have solved or I have told to the student that uh, we can see this. Let's suppose if there's a dispersion relation is given to you, that is omega is proportional to k to the power s, right? And if d is the dimension, right? If omega is proportional to k to the power s and d is the dimension, then the specific heat at constant volume, that is Cv, will be directly proportional to temperature to the power d by s. This is the standard relation, the general relation we have solved in the class. So, Cv is proportional to t to the power d by s. If you look at the question, in the question they are saying the insulator is of two dimension, that means the dimension that is d value is 2. And what about the value of s? See, here the discussion from with the dy temperature. So, in the dy model, we know that uh, basically the dy theory talk about the acoustic branch, right? They talk about the acoustic branch. Acoustic branch means about the phonons. About the phonons. And the dispersion relation for the phonons is basically given as omega is equal to Vs into K. Vs is the velocity of sound inside the solid. So if we compare, we are getting value of S is 1 and the value of D is 2 since the dimension is a two-dimension insulator. So we can say that the Cv is proportional to t square, right? This should be the relation. Cv is proportional to t square. Let's suppose I am uh, removing this proportionality constant. I am basically using the constant k, that is k times t square, like this. Now, if you say the proper relation, you will get to know that this value of k is basically is proportional to 1 over theta d cube, right? This k is proportional to 1 over theta d q, which is a theta d is a dy temperature. So overall, your expression will be something like this, that the Cv is equals to k t square by theta d q. This will be your entire expression. Now we have to deal with this. So we have to find the heat required. Heat required means how you can basically represent the specific heat. How can we uh, represent the specific heat? We can represent Cv is equals to nothing but dq by dt. And this will be equal to k by theta d cube into t square. We can also write like this that a d cube is equal to k over theta d cube t square and basically integral on the both side and here will be the dt. Right? Now, we have to find the ratio of the heat required to raise the temperature from 1k to 2k and from 2k to 3k. Okay? So, of the integration of dq, we will get the heat, that is the q, and we will have the ratio, that is k over theta d cube. See, theta d will be same. In the both case, the divide temperature will remain same, right? So, I am taking out the k by theta d q, and here we will get t square dt, and divided by k by theta d cube integral t square dt. In the above, in the numerator, the limit will be from 1 Kelvin to 2 Kelvin and the denominator the limit will be from 2 Kelvin to 3 Kelvin. This will be our equation, right? Now let's solve it and it's a quite easy. So this portion, this will cancel out. K by theta d cube, this will cancel out. 
And if you will solve this, what you will get? We will get q is equal to nothing but t cube by 3 for the limit of 1 to 2 and divided by t cube by 3 for the limit of 2 Kelvin to 3 Kelvin, right? So 3 and 3 will cancel out. So finally, we will get t cube from 1 to 2 divided by t cube from 2 to 3. Let's put the value. Dekhne, kitna ho so it will be 2 to the power 3, that is 8 minus 1 divided by 27 minus 8. So the answer will be nothing but 7 by 19. That means option number A1 is correct, right? Option number 1 is correct. The 7 by 19 is the ratio. This is the final answer. This was a very easy question from the condensed matter physics. And I hope the people have solved this question. It's a quite informative. Uh, basically, all the information is given uh, in the question. Uh, but if people, if the student knows about this condition, then it's going to be quite easy for them. Otherwise, it will be quite difficult to derive this equation in the scenario of the examination, okay? So, I hope this question basically is informative for you, right? So, see you in the next part with some another question. Thank you so much.